To keep its competitive edge, Google has added another feature to its search engine service, image searching. And Tech TV Labs' Ray Weigel is here now to give us a first look at Google Imaging. Hey, Ray. Google Imaging, how are you doing today? Good, thanks. Yep, I have been looking up so many images on the web lately. And uh, the exciting thing is that Google, a lot of people have used Alta Vista's image search. Mm -hmm. I used to use Alta Vista's image search. But Google, the uh, kind of bad boy of the search engines, has uh, just released its own image search. Um, and we did a comparison with Alta Vista. Now, you can go to our website, techlife.com, and we have the full, we'll have the full article there, Alta Vista versus Google. But I'm going to tell you a little bit about it. Now, okay. When you're looking for a specific image, let's say I want to find an image of Bill Clinton's, you know, inauguration address, these might not be the best thing for you. There, if you want to see a bunch of images around a general subject in one place. Now, let's jump to this and I'll show you what I'm talking okay. about here. What we're looking at is Google's image search. Now, you see it looks a lot like Google, but if you look at the URL, it's images.google.com, not www.google.com, which the... Uh, original Google search engine is. Now, when I made, I have a website called Samurai Mind, my URL, SamuraiMind.com. So when I was putting that together, I wanted to find a bunch of pictures of Samurai. And I used Alta Vista, which I'll show you in a minute. We'll do a little comparison. But I want to show you Google right now, because that's the new thing today. So let's say I want to find pictures of Samurais. And you can see um, it's at the image search page. Hit the Google search. And this is what it brings up. Got a lot. Yeah, it brings up a lot. We, it brought up about 8,490 uh, pictures. Now, not all of these are going to be usable. You know, like I said, if I'm looking for general pictures of samurai or something, this is. So we're seeing the look. flowers up there in the top corner. That's not. Right, not not samurai exactly there. This is kind of more you know my style here. Now look very closely at this whole screen. You'll see what it does, and I like this a lot because I'm going to show you Alta Vista in a minute, and this does something different than Alta Vista. Let me go back really quick, and I'll show you. We have the thumbnail screen here. Okay. I click on this picture of the samurai. I like this one on the, uh, the woodblock print on the uh, horse. Image has been scaled down. Now, it gives me the image up here, and then down here is the page that the image has come from. This is the actual web page that this has come from. So I click on that, and it gives me the full size of the image. Now, let's go to Alta Vista's image search. Go to altavista.com, and uh, you see up here the tab that says Images. I mm -hmm. click on that. That's going to take me to their search image page. Now, this has a lot of advanced features here that the Google search doesn't have. You can see I can search photos, graphics, buttons, or banners. We like the advanced features a lot. And there's yeah. no way to do that on Google? Uh, no, not right now. There's not. Uh, they might add them later, but if you go to the regular Google search engine, it, too, is very bare bones. Now, look at this layout. On the left, you see all these uh, pictures. I like how Google is laid out more. You see, I get four pictures here. When we're looking at Google, we have like 12 images mm -hmm. per page. Uh, OK, here's, a, here's one, Six String Samurai. This is a uh, rock and roll movie that came out a while ago. Now this, you'll notice there's no image here. It just takes me straight to the page that that image is on. Now, I don't like that as much, because now i got to go through the page and dig through the image. So um, with Alta Vista's image, image search, uh, one thing we do like about it is that it searches through about a billion pages. Um, which but is that a lot. didn't give you as many results as Google did. Yeah, but it did. didn't give me as many results as Google did. Now, let's bring up the pros and cons really quick. Okay. Um, Google, pros and cons. It gives us this nice thumbnail view. I really like that a lot. I'm going to do the samurai search again. Uh, <coughs> we spelled samurai wrong, so we get a little different results. But I really like the thumbnail view a lot. It gave me a lot of great results. Um, and like I said, when it puts that image at the top, you don't have to go digging through the page. The page is there if you want to see where it's from. But you don't have to go digging for it. Now, both image search uh, searches have adult image features. Okay. So if you want to use this at home, they're not the best. They don't filter everything. So you might not want, like, you know, your five-year-old kid going and looking for pictures of Farrah Fawcett or, you know, <laughs> even worse. Uh, <coughs> but they are there. Um, so you can set up passwords, you know, to protect. Uh, they will filter out objectionable content. And uh, copyrights. These, a lot of these images are copyright. Now, Google, on its image search, has a notice that says, uh, you know, these images might be copyrighted. Alta Vista does not, but it does have a disclaimer at the beginning of the image search saying that all the images you might find on there are copyrighted. That's a good so, point, so people should really find yeah, out. Yeah, you should be careful. So overall, uh, we like Google. I like the layout. I like that it puts the image at top. Alta Vista, though, searches through a much larger database. Um, I would recommend, you know, as always, trying both, seeing what you like. They're free, so it's no problem. If you're looking for 
a wide variety of images or are just starting to uh, make a web page or something, this is a good place to start, images.google.com. All right. Thank you so much, thank Ray. You.